This is Eric with Keith McMillan Instruments. Today I'm going to show you how to get set up with our Cuneo MPE app. This is an application that translates the messages from Cuneo into MIDI polyphonic expression, also known as MPE. One of the first things to notice is the Show Hints checkbox. If you leave that enabled and mouse over certain parts of the application, you'll get hints showing you how to use those features. If those start to annoy you after a while, you can turn them off. When you connect to your Cuneo while the app is running, you'll see a greeting message scroll across the screen, letting you know that the application is talking to the Cuneo. If this is the first time you're using the app, you may need to load the MPE preset into the Cuneo. Click on Setup Cuneo, and you'll see that there are 16 preset slots, one for each button on the Cuneo. I'm going to use slot 13, but you can choose any number here. If you look at the Cuneo's pads, when you click Send Preset, you'll see one of the pads blinking, which indicates it's loaded into that slot. Make sure this preset is loaded anytime you're using the app. You'll notice that MPE is enabled by default. If you want to use a non-MPE synth, you can turn this off and choose a MIDI channel. If you leave it on, you're going to want to choose how many channels you are using in your MPE zone. A good number to start with here is 15. The MPE app runs in the background and translates the Cuneo's standard MIDI messages into MPE. You can use the app to host a soft synth, such as Alto or Equator. You can play external hardware synths using USB MIDI ports, or you can use virtual MIDI ports to connect to a software DAW such as Ableton Live or Logic. Let's take a look at how to set up a soft synth. Click the big button labeled Soft Synth and you'll see the Load VST window open. You can scan for your plugins by clicking the Rescan button, and uh, this might take a minute or two. Once the scan is complete, you can use the drop down to choose a plugin, but before you do that, you'll need to check your audio settings. Make sure you have audio turned on and that you have the right audio driver selected. In this case, I'm using Core Audio and I've chosen my KMix as the audio output. When you scan for plugins on Windows, the app will search your hard disk in a number of default VST folder locations, including program files, common files, and in the various Steinberg and VST folders. Unfortunately, there isn't one standard folder for Windows plugins, so you can locate your own using the load custom VST folder function here. Once that's done, click on Audio Settings and make sure you've chosen the right ASIO driver for your audio interface. Once you've selected your audio interface, you can close this window and then choose your plugin from the drop down. It'll take just a second for the audio light to come on. Open the plugin interface, and you should now be able to play the synth with the Cuneo. The Cuneo MPE app uses virtual MIDI ports to talk to other MIDI applications. Here we're using Ableton Live as an example. Open Preferences to configure the MIDI ports. Here you can see the Cuneo's default ports, as well as the virtual ports created by the MPE app. You'll want to disable the default Cuneo ports and only use the virtual ports. The From Cuneo MPE port is your input into Ableton. Check the track box to enable MIDI input and check MPE to let Ableton know that this is an MPE device. Check the track box for the to Cuneo MPE port if you want your MIDI clips to play back visually on the Cuneo LEDs. If you're on Windows, you'll need to manually create the virtual MIDI ports using a third-party application such as Loop MIDI. When you create the ports, name them to Cuneo MPE and from Cuneo MPE, and that way the app will automatically send and receive data to those ports without you having to select them. Now that we've configured our virtual ports, we can drag Wavetable onto a MIDI track and play it with the Cuneo. <laughs> Don't forget to check out the MPE tab in Wavetable, where you can map all of the expression from the Cuneo to parameters in the synth.
Let's run through how to use the app to control an MPE-enabled hardware synth. Here we have a sculpt from Modal Electronics, so we need to select its USB MIDI ports from the MIDI port dropdowns, like so. And once that's done, you should be able to play the synth with the Cuneo. The Cuneo MPE app comes with several presets for MPE synths, including the Sculpt. So let's select the preset. And now in the Visualizer, the Sculpt's parameters are listed in the dropdowns. This makes it really easy to map those parameters to the Cuneo's sliders. The Cuneo MPE pads let you play notes and scales. The pads themselves each have X, Y, and Z expressions. X is often mapped to pitch bend. Y is often mapped to the modulation wheel. And Z is often mapped to aftertouch, also known as channel pressure. And because this is MPE, you can play any or all of these expressions at the same time using multiple pads. You can change the root note and scale type using the app's interface, but you can also use the Cuneo's controls. Hold down the rhombus and press the up arrow to choose the root notes of the scale with the up and down arrows. Press rhombus again to exit. You can press rhombus and the down arrow to choose the scale type. Right now we're in Major, we've programmed dozens of different scales and modes into the Cuneo MPE app, but right now let's try Blues. Once you've selected your scale, press the rhombus to exit, and you'll see that the root notes of the scale are shown in yellow. You can transpose the grid using the up and down arrows. The long horizontal slider adjusts the pitch bend range. To the left disables it. To the right sets max. For pitch bend to work properly, the app needs to know what range your synth is set to. Check your synth's MPE pitch bend range and enter it into the synth number box in the MPE app. Now you can set the Cuneo's maximum pitch bend range using the dropdowns. Let's go ahead and try a whole step. Now let's try an octave. You can use the horizontal slider to choose values within this range. Uncheck the quantize box to get subdivisions and fractions of semitones. Cuneo has four horizontal sliders, and each can select from four mappable parameters. There are also four vertical sliders that are grouped into four banks that can be selected with the arrows to the right of the sliders. There are also two rotary encoders that are grouped into four banks, and these encoders are pressure sensitive. You can press them lightly to make fine adjustments, or you can press them hard to make quick changes.
If you want to create your own preset for a different synth, first choose the default preset, and then click Save As and choose a name. Then under CC Parameter Names, click Edit, and this is where you can assign names to the MIDI control changes that control your synthesizer. Make sure to follow the format that's in the example, using underscores for spaces. And when you're done, go ahead and close this window, click Validate, and then click Update Dropdowns. Now in the visualizer, you'll see that the dropdowns have updated with your parameter names.